Hello everyone. Welcome to Digital Communication Tutorials. In this video, I am going to take up the 13th numerical on sampling theorem. Let me read out the question first. Figure given below shows the spectrum of an arbitrary signal x of t. The signal is sampled at Nyquist rate with a periodic train of rectangular pulses of duration 40 milliseconds. Determine the spectrum of the sampled signal for frequencies up to 25 Hz giving relevant expressions and sketch the spectrum. Assume flat top sampling. Look at the diagram here. We are given the spectrum of the arbitrary signal x of t and by the look of it we can identify this to be a very strictly band limited signal to a frequency of 5 Hz. So let us start with the solution part here. I'll first write down the given values here. It is given that x of t is band limited to 5 Hz. Since it is band limited to 5 Hz, the highest frequency component of x of t is 5 Hz itself. Please note the notation used for the highest frequency component is W. Coming back to the numerical, we are told this signal x of t is sampled at a rate equal to the Nyquist rate. So let us now find the sampling frequency. Sampling frequency is equal to Nyquist rate which is equals to 2W. Since W is equal to 5 Hz here, the sampling frequency will therefore be 10 Hz. Let us now move on to the next part. Please look at the last part of the question. It says assume flat top sampling. So I will now write an expression for the spectrum of the flat top sample signal. It is represented as S of f and is equal to x delta of f multiplied with h of f where x delta of f is the spectrum of the instantaneously sampled signal and h of f is the transfer function of the rectangular pulse which is used in the flat top sampling. Right. So, let me call this S of f equation as equation 1 here. Now, I am going to find expressions for x delta of f and h of f and I am going to take these expressions directly from the flat top sampling process. Please note, I have already made a video on the flat top sampling. If you have not yet watched it, you can click on the link shown in the top right corner right now to watch it or I will leave the link of the same in the video description below. Coming back, let me now write the expression for x delta of f. As it is given above, x delta of f is the spectrum of the instantaneously sampled signal and is given by fs summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity x of f minus n fs. Let me call it as equation 2. Then we have h of f and I am taking this expression from the flat top sampling topic and is equal to capital T into sink of pi f capital T into exponential of minus j pi f capital T. I will call this as equation 3. Now I will substitute equation 2 and equation 3 back into equation 1. So, S of f is now equal to, I will write equation 2 first, it is fs summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity x of f minus n f s multiplied by, now I will write equation 3 which is t into sink of pi f capital T into exponential of minus j pi f capital T. Now let me simplify this by taking the constant terms to the left side. Now 
Now, in the numerical, we are told the value of capital T is equals to 40 milliseconds, which is the width of each rectangular pulse, which is also equal to 0 0.04 seconds. Further, we have previously found the value of the sampling frequency, which is 10 hertz, so which is Fs. So, I will substitute these values into the equation here. Let me call this as equation 4. So, S of F now becomes Fs is equals to 10 multiplied by capital T is 0 0.04 multiplied by summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity x of f minus n into fs is 10 then we have sink of pi f t is equals to 0 0.04 then e to the power of minus j pi f into 0 0.04 this is the final expression for the flat top sampled signal coming back to the numerical we have now completed 50 percent of the numerical because we were asked to find the expressions for the flat top sample signal. The remaining part of the numerical asks us to sketch the spectrum of the flat top sample signal and that I will do now. To sketch the flat top sample signal, I will be using the equation 1 once again. I am going to first plot h of f, then I am going to plot x delta of f and I am going to perform a simple multiplication to find the flat top sample signal. So, let me start with the H of F representation. Now, we know that H of T is a rectangular pulse. Therefore, H of F which is its Fourier transform will be a sink function and the sink function will have a limit from minus 1 by T to plus 1 by t. I will plot that now. As I said, this is minus 1 divided by capital T and this is plus 1 divided by capital T. And when you compute by substituting capital T value here, you will find this to be minus 25 hertz and this is plus 25 hertz. To complete the diagram, I will write one more lobe here. Right. So, this is what H of F would look like. This in fact should be magnitude of H of F. Now, I will go on and plot the spectra for the instantaneously sampled signal. This is X delta of F. I will mark the values here as well. This is minus 25 and this is plus 25. When you come back to the question, you will see that the question asks us to sketch the sampled signal for frequencies up to 25 hertz. So, that is exactly what we are doing now. So, this is minus 25 plus 25, this would be 0. Now, let me divide the x-axis into 5 intervals along both the positive and negative frequency axis. Now, I will first draw the original signal spectra between 5 and minus 5. Okay. Now, as per the ideal sampling theorem, we know that the spectra of the original signal will be replicated along the frequency axis and that is in fact the effect of sampling. So, let me now just perform the spectral replication. Right. So, this is x delta of f. Please note the original spectra is shifted left and right by n fs. The value of fs here is 10. So, if this is 0, then this would be fs. This would be 2 fs. Similarly, minus 10 would be minus fs and minus 20 would be minus 2 fs. We finally move on to the last part of the question which is to plot the spectra of the flat top sample signal. Let me start with that now.
fact. So, this will be S of F. So, as we already have established, this is plus 25, this is minus 25, 0. I will mark the rest of the things here. Okay. So, as per equation 1, which is the equation for the flat top sample signal, x delta of f is now to be multiplied with h of f. The product will give the spectrum for the flat top sample signal. So, now let me start with the diagram. For reference, I am going to draw h of f function over this graph here and then I would try to fit x delta of f within the h of f. Right. Now, I will move on to plot x delta of f, but the spectral lobes of x delta of f, which is the instantaneously sampled spectra, now should fit within this spectral response. Let me now plot the original signal spectra between minus 5 and plus 5. Right. Now, I will move for the next spectral lobe between plus 5 and plus 15, but please note it has to reside within the h of f function. Right. So, the spectra that is shown in blue color here is the flat top sample spectra between the frequencies minus 25 hertz and plus 25 hertz. Right. That is about this video. If you like this video, kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more information on digital communication. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.